five things I always forget to clean. I'm gonna go through them today. It's taken me a long time to film this video because I kept on forgetting this video existed because I would start cleaning things I'd forgotten I had to clean and then just be like, oh yeah, and I forget, I need to clean this, 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 and this. So I finally got the video done. Here we are, five things I always forget to clean. You didn't hear anything. My neighbor has started drilling and it's so frustrating. It's nine o'clock in the morning and he started drilling as soon as it hit nine o'clock. So if you can hear anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get straight into the video because there's no need for any sort of chit chat. First thing, I always forget to clean and I hate this job so much because it's so, you know, unfulfilling to a degree. Lime scale, removing lime scale from your taps, from your shower, from your shower head. Oh, it's so boring because it's just a job where you're like, is this going to work? I saw a woman on Instagram use lemon juice as a lime scale remover. I had no idea how well lemon juice would work at removing lime scale. Just a little thing, removing lime scale probably should be done on a regular basis because I found that my lime scale was so embedded, is that the word? I don't know what lime scale does. So hard on my shower that it didn't get all of it off. It did get quite a lot off, um, but there was still a bit left over. How I do it is I use cling film or a plastic bag. I fill it up with lemon juice and I wrap the cling film around my shower and put the shower head inside a bag, use an elastic band to fasten it and left it for about an hour, I think, in the end because it was so badly lime scaled. I'm going to turn the footage here of me removing the lime scale, but it was really hard to film. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job of the before shot of the tap. But, it did, the lemon juice did get rid of loads of the lime scale. There is a bit left over still. I haven't done it since I filmed the footage about three weeks ago. I should probably get on and do it next. I'll go do that after I film this video. The next thing is cleaning the communal areas. Especially with coronavirus still taking over the world. Cleaning the communal areas should be something you probably should be doing like on a daily basis. And there are things that I always forget to do. Things like keys. Mobile phones, I know they're not communal areas, but keys to windows, back doors, fridge door handles, drawer handles in the kitchen, light switches, regular door handles, banisters. These are things that I always forget to clean just because I'm just so busy cleaning like a certain room that I forget, oh yeah, that light switch probably hasn't been cleaned in a few days, maybe even a week or so. It's just something you don't think. And no plug sockets, so many things that just everyone touches all the time you just forget that you touch it because it's such a normal thing that you do. So yeah, clean the communal areas. Another thing, which is sort of a communal area, something that is, I was disgusted at when I started cleaning. Cleaning my hoover and my broom and my dustpan and brush. Something I had never thought to do ever. Obviously you empty your hoover, but when was the last time you actually cleaned the handle of the hoover or your dustpan and brush dustpan or the brush? I, just, I am amazed at how much dirt I found when I was cleaning these objects. I was sat there, and you'll see the footage. I'm sat there and I was just, it's disgusting. Ugh. So something that I highly recommend you add onto your to-do list is clean those cleaning objects because they must have so much grime on them. Because they're cleaning objects, you forget to clean them. Another really random thing that will only take five minutes to clean, but it's something that always gets overlooked, well, especially by me, is your dividers for your rooms, the metal dividers. I was amazed at how dirty these were when I cleaned them the other day so dirty and obviously it's because you're stepping over them or stepping on them nearly every day and they're getting dirt in them but because they don't look dirty you don't need to clean them you hoover them you may mop them occasionally you sweep them but you never really scrub them and they're gross <laughs> so i recommend you clean your dividers thankfully this is a job where it literally takes like five minutes to do so when you've done it you feel really satisfied because you see the dirt that comes off it then you can forget about it and not really worry about it but especially the ones by your doors those ones my cloth was like black when i wiped that down oh goodness knows when i last cleaned it just forget it's just something that's just not on my radar to do and now it is on your radar you have no excuse speaking of walking over things your back door i have a dog and so I could see that my PVC back door 
was getting grubby because I have to open it every day, you know, numerous times a day to let Kiva out and I could see it was getting really gross. It's not until I actually like got down on my hands and knees that I saw how bad it was. Obviously we have a garden and so general debris, is that the right word? I could see the dust, I could see the cobwebs, I could see like the mud and dog hair and things like that. But it's just like a lot of it. <laughs> and so I had to hoover, I had to brush it, had to wipe it down. Elbow grease, an absolute godsend for these sorts of things. I highly recommend you get some elbow grease. It was only about a pound, I think, from home bargains and it's vegan excellent even better really it's quite a boring thing to clean though because it's outside you don't really appreciate it as much when it's done i mean when it when it was done i was like oh this is nice it's nice and clean but then in the space of like three days there's already spider's webs already back on there there's already dog hair getting there again and it's just one of those jobs where you think i'm glad i cleaned it but if it could just stay clean that made my life a whole lot easier and so yeah that's it that's my quick video that's five things that i hate cleaning and also forget to clean all the time that i've now passed on to you so add those things to your to-do list get them done and let me know <laughs> really random video um thank you for watching i'll leave my previous cleaning video down below i'll also tag my top five cleaning products that are vegan i think it's top five either way i'll tag it down below Go watch it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye.